Good morning. I'm not going to talk for too long because as you can probably tell by my voice, I feel like crap. So a few days ago, um, I started getting, I basically started getting like allergy symptoms and then it's developed into some sort of cold, but I don't have a fever, but it still kind of feels like it's just really bad allergies. So I don't really know what's going on. I don't know what my GoPro just did. Anyway, um, I'm, it's 6.30 Saturday, February 17th. And I think that God is trying to tell me something because I just got a flood warning on my phone. And last night I even went, I don't really want to be sick here because I'm parked kind of on the side of the road and there's a lot of cut grass and trees and things, which I am allergic to. So I'm like, maybe I'm getting like symptoms from that or maybe something's telling me to get off of the coast, which is basically what happened when I was in Nova Scotia and then that exact place flooded. Um, and I had the thought last night to leave and go to Joshua Tree. And normally when I have that thought, um, they're always random and I normally like follow them just because I'm a very kind of last minute sporadic person. Um, this guy looking at, I hope he doesn't come over to me. It's too early to be bothered by people. Oh my God. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, I'm not in the mood because I can barely talk right now. I just spit up, sorry, gross, like a lot of phlegm, which is good because if you've ever been sick before, you know that the phlegm coming up is kind of the last stage um, of the sickness. But yeah, I'm going to go back to Joshua Tree. I know people there. I can also... <clears throat> I sit in the desert with the doors open and it's a little bit cooler there, which might be better if I do develop a fever. Um, but it would also just be nice to be somewhere where I know people. So if I do need help, um, if I do get to that point where I do feel like really, really bad, it's very hard doing stuff by yourself relatively, which is what I do constantly. Um, I don't have a lot of help with things, but if I do need help, it's good that the options are there. And I don't want to worry about, um, like, my sleep getting interrupted. It's only two hours away, so I'm going to fill up gas and then I'm going to go. Um, this guy just turned on his brights for no reason. <laughs> hurts to swallow. That's what she said. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go fill up gas. It's kind of sad that I'm leaving LA, but I'm trying to think of like, is there anything else I kind of want to do here? There is, but I'd rather be safe. Also, yeah, my ears feel like they're leaking brain fluid. They aren't. Like, they're not leaking anything, but they're just super sore and like itchy. But, <clears throat> yeah, where are we going? Two hours and 14 minutes away. That's fine. Okay, sorry for this intro. I don't know what else is gonna be in this vlog, but if it does end up flooding, this weekend, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> if it does, my sixth sense is, uh, or like I said, in life, sometimes life kind of forces you out of situations when you need to be out of them. And if you don't listen, it's gonna keep giving you that lesson over and over and over again. Um, and I'm, I'm listening right now because I don't want my sickness to get worse. <clears throat> Lip. It hurts quite a bit. But yeah, I'm gonna go stop for gas. If you were thinking, um, I guess no one really thinks about when you have a cold or 
or stuff like this when you're in the van. It sucks. I would love just like a bucket of ice right now just to chew on. That's kind of my favorite thing. When I'm sick, I'm going to call myself sick. Like I said, I don't know if it's hay fever because the day that it started was like the night that they did landscaping around me and cut all of the grass. So it could be that. Um, but once again, it could just be me having a cold as well. <clears throat> Glad I decided to kind of get up and go though. And I'm just going somewhere that's kind of comfortable and I'm familiar with, so. Bye.